Hi, I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping, and I help Shopify sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems, whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. Look for the link in the description box below for my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint. In this video, I'll be discussing the five inventory essentials every Shopify seller should know. There's a lot of confusion among Shopify sellers about how to track inventory in QuickBooks Online. And that's why I did this video, to talk about the five essentials that every Shopify seller should know about inventory and tracking inventory in QuickBooks Online. Let's go ahead and take a look. How often do you need to track inventory for accounting and tax purposes? Well, at a very minimum, you need to track inventory um, and actually track the cost of your unsold inventory for tax purposes and that's once a year because once a year you need to do your taxes and your tax accountant or tax preparer needs that inventory uh, report from you so we just need it once a year but as your shopify business grows you'll need to track inventory um, once a month that's uh, pretty much what i recommend uh, what I would call a best practice is updating your inventory balance once a month. And the reason that you want to track your inventory once a month is so that you can get a clear picture of your profit. So you can know what your cost of goods sold is versus what your inventory is. Number two. Okay. So if you have to track inventory, then what do you track? Well, you need to track your inventory quantities and cost. And that is the cost of your unsold inventory. It's not the retail price of your inventory. It is what it costs you to purchase your inventory. And some sellers uh, may need to track landed cost. Uh, that is an advanced topic that I will cover in a future video. Number three, do you need to track inventory in QuickBooks Online? Well, by far, this is one of the biggest mistakes that Shopify sellers make. I do not recommend tracking inventory items in QuickBooks Online, and that's because QuickBooks Online is not made for tracking e-commerce inventory. It's actually made for tracking inventory for wholesale and distribution businesses that invoice of their customers. Uh, so I recommend that you only update the amount of the inventory balance in QuickBooks and um, actually look for the video that I already did showing you how to update inventory with a journal entry in QuickBooks Online. Number four, how should you enter your inventory purchases in QuickBooks Online? While inventory purchases are technically considered inventory for accounting purposes, I recommend that you enter your inventory purchases to cost of goods sold. By adjusting your inventory balance each month with a journal entry, the correct amount of inventory will be reflected in QuickBooks Online as well as the correct amount of cost of goods sold. And again, look for the video that I did showing you how to update inventory in QuickBooks with a journal entry. And number five, how do you track your inventory? Well, good news. Recently, Shopify introduced inventory reports, making it possible for you to track inventory costs and quantities in Shopify and to actually be able to get the report that you need to be able to do that. So it makes it much easier to get your inventory numbers for accounting and tax purposes. I'll be covering uh, Shopify inventory reports in my next video. Now, depending on your business needs, you may have a more robust inventory management needs, like uh, perhaps multi-channel, uh, tracking purchase orders, maybe you have bundles, you may have more specific and more unique needs. But um, in this case, then tracking inventory in Shopify may not be the best fit for you, and you may need to look for an inventory management app. I'll discuss this topic in a future video. So there you have it. Those are the five inventory essentials every Shopify seller should know. I'm Veronica Masek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. If you're ready to let an experienced financial pro help you with your Shopify accounting, then check the description description box below to learn more about my services and how we might work together. If this content is helping you, then make sure that you subscribe, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. Check the description box below for all of my resources, including my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint.
And also look for the link to join my Facebook community. And I'm here to help you, so let me know in the comments if there are any other topics that you'd like me to cover in the future. I'm Veronica Wasik. I'll see you next time.